What to do guys, your boy Jax, welcome back to another reaction. So today we're going to be checking out one of Evan's MC Gaming's video that he had to put all together, which will be the Junior SMP, the complete story of the imprisoned. So, let's see what has happened today in this episode. Well, <laughs> more like I'm more like about to watch everything that went down. Because, so, you know, Dream is in prison and stuff, so let's see what happened. destroyed for the third time. For the third time, the main days passed, and Wednesday the 20th had arrived. This day would mark the true end of the disc saga. The can be actually came. ended. That's crazy. Now he was the one with no escape. Now he was the one who had lost control. I am gonna kill you until you're dead. Tommy, I can bring people back to life, but only I have the book. If I die, then Wilbur's dead forever. Yeah. There's another way. You don't have to let him go free. We what can put saying? him in the prison. It sounds weirdly, weirdly too perfect. I'll be so honest. Do you think Tommy Trump just done it and just end Dream's life? I don't know. I think like putting him in prison probably would be I guess probably would be wouldn't have been the right choice, but I feel like Dream will probably will escape it, but who knows? Cinematic storytelling. Getting out Dream SMP part six. Man, I don't know if the prison was the right choice. The imprisoned. Dream had lost. After months of manipulation, destruction, and terror, he would be punished for his unrelenting crimes. The people felt free. A darkness that had loomed over the server for over half a year was now trapped deep in the farthest reaches of Pandora's vault. Freedom overcame the land. And in the absence of Lamanberg, new projects sought to fill the void that was left with its destruction. On the day of their victory, Tommy, in an act of spite, swore to visit Dream in prison the very next day. And as the sun rose on the morning of the 21st, the beginnings of a new era would start to take root. Tommy logged on in a great mood. Today, there would be no worry. Oh yeah, why not? Like, come on. <laughs> All he had to do was head to the prison and flaunt his freedom in front of Dream. Wow. As he made his way down the path, <laughs> Tommy <laughs> thought about the journey that lied ahead. Tommy, you gotta stop, As it bro. stood, Tommy would be the first person to enter the prison other than Sam, the Builder and Warden, and Dream, the first inmate. As Tommy found himself at the entrance of the prison, That's a, a great rush of excitement prison, ran though. through him. During exile, Tommy felt powerless to dream in his manipulative ways. But today, Tommy would be the one in control. Sam opened the portal, and finally, the inner workings of Pandora's vault were revealed. No escape. Yo, that this was the only thing Sam had in mind while building wow. Pandora's vault. Months ago, Dream paid Sam generously to hold nothing back. He wanted an inescapable prison. Tommy entered the main lobby through the portal, and awaiting him on the other side was the head warden, Sam. And after signing a release form and placing all of his items in a locker, Tommy began his journey to the main. That's zone. right. You gotta make sure you can't get nothing in Dream or anything. the most advanced redstone system on the entire SMP. Wow. Utilizing countless security measures, including kill checks, retracting floors, vault doors, and lava castles, the prison truly is impossible to escape from without what the dying. Heck? Tommy stood in awe of the sheer scale of the prison. Dozens of cells covered the walls of the main block. Every lever required a guard key that only Sam had, and mining fatigue from nearby Elder Guardians made it take minutes to break even the weakest of blocks. The two continued through the final checks and onto the main cell. Tommy was required to sign two more waivers before entering. Oh, bang. The That's first too much work. The consent to being hunted down and killed if he attempted to break out Dream, and the second stating that if a security issue takes place while a visit is in progress, he could potentially be locked in the cell until the Seven issue days. is resolved. All that stood between the two was an impenetrable wall of lava. And having no plans but taunting Dream, Tommy agreed, and the lava walls began to fall. Before long, the two enemies stared. Tommy, once broken by Dream, was now happily the one with power. And as Sam activated the bridge, Tommy crossed the divide, entering the cell to begin his first visit with Dream. Hey! 
Hello? <laughs> it's so depressing. <laughs> You're the first person to visit me, but I've just been a Oh here. my god. Did you, Did you miss me? Not really, but... Really? What have you been up to? Uh, I've been writing. Well, not yet, but I'm going to. I like watching the clock. You know, everyone hates you now. Well, I'm in prison. So, they're, 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 there's no reason for them to hate me anyway. So that's his water right there. Oh, I'm guessing like that cool. on the floor <laughs> is probably his toilet. Well, you're gonna kill me? <laughs> then your server won't be fun anymore. You said it yourself. Turns out I've actually had all the power over you all along. I mean, I did feel bad for you, but you were actually going to kill um, my best friend and uh, and hold me in here. That's true. You would have put bad, me in here. Though. Well, to be fair, you're in here right now. But this you is can really, this is a really sad sight. This bed has no Maybe bed. Maybe I'll be better and then you'll let me out. No. Tommy, I'm sorry. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. For what? Uh, for everything that I did to you. Really? Yeah. Heck no. How do I know you're not lying? Uh, I mean, I have no reason to lie. I'm not out here to, um... To manipulate you, Dream. But the person who needs to fix themselves the most, Dream, is you. Tell me how you're feeling. Sad. Why? Because I lost my friends. Uh, you didn't. They... And all my stuff. And my server. And you. Yeah. And my lives. <laughs> it's not so. Oh, um, yeah, you Like, this even so convincing. Who do you miss the most? I think you should go, Tommy. No, tell me who you miss the most. Guard! Guard! Are you ready to leave, Tommy? As Tommy moved away and locked the door, Dream Lily has no bed. <laughs> I thought, every, I thought again, every prison had a alone, bed, man. On an island of solitude, locked away from everything he once knew. He missed it all his friends, his power, his server. In the absence of stimulation, his mind wandered. He began to dream of the day he would leave, wondering how he would manage to escape. What he had done was bad, and what he planned to do was worse. But what they had put him through was truly evil. His plans were created with reason, to restore the server to its former glory, but then, their actions were done out of fear. Fear of the power he held and fear of the power they could lose. But although Dream was physically trapped, he still had one power they could never take away. And soon, his mind ran wild, as if uncaged from his dark reality. He started with Sam. Being the warden and only guard of the prison, Sam was the only one who had any clearance at all. This meant that the prison's level of security rested squarely on his shoulders, alone. The more unstable Sam was, the more unstable the defenses of the prison. And as long as Dream was suffering, he made it his mission to inflict that same suffering on his captor. He started simple. After burning his clock, he would complain without end to Sam that he needed a new one. And soon after receiving his new clock, he would burn it and complain again. Oh. He continued this cycle until Sam had had enough, vowing that he would not be giving Dream any more clocks. The Dream However, had a plan? Dream's reign of mental terror was just beginning. On January 30th, Dream awoke to the lava falling once again and behind the wall of blazing heat appeared his second visitor, Bad Boy Halo. Bad Boy Halo! Dream knew Bad very well, and decided that playing sad would be the easiest way to get Bad on his side. He went on about how terrible life in the prison was and how lonely he was feeling. Quickly, Bad felt sad for his friend and promised to convince more people to visit. And as the walls fell again, Dream continued to smile as he had just planned his next move Against wow, Sam. of course you did. Over the next few days, Dream began to talk less and less until he refused to talk at all. Even in the presence of Sapnap, one of his closest allies since the very beginning, he didn't say a word. His silence angered Sam. No matter what he said or did, Dream completely ignored him. His fits of rage became entertainment for Dream as he smiled. Hey, come on, of course Dream had a plan. The torture. After an entire day of mining with his bare fist, Dream managed to break the lectern in his cell. Sam was angered even further, remodeling the cell with crying obsidian to ensure he would not be able to create another portal to escape. Dream continued his vow of silence. 
he felt power for the first time since being locked away. He continued his depressed and apologetic act for visitors while raining psychological terror on Sam every day. Dream wasn't sad, as much as he controlled people by making them think that Dream was not sad. He wasn't. He was angry. Dream spent every living second in that cell thinking of ways he could terrorize every last person that wronged him. He devised plans of who he would kill in what Dang. order, playing oh out scenarios gosh. of his revenge over and over in his head like a broken record until he finally had it. This man became the a bad man. Escape plan. Chaotic yet elegant, extravagant yet obvious. His weeks of alone had not gone to waste. And to his delight, the first phase in his plan, the destruction of every last person who turned on him, would happen in a matter of minutes. And as Dream played through the scenario one last time in his head, the lava began to fall, and the final visit was about to begin. As the only guard on duty, Sam took his job very seriously. With every visit, he made no jokes, let no smile escape. He liked his job as warden. I can see that. He built the prison, power, after all. Something hard to come across on the SMP. And he found strength in the fact that he held quite possibly the most important job on the entire server. But as the days passed, he fell into routine. Wake up, stay on duty, feed the prisoner, and go to sleep. Over and over and oh, over no, again. Oh no, I don't know. I could do that prison life as a guard. Sam left the prison less and less until the very clock that Dream seemed to cherish meant just as much to Sam. Despite holding all the power one could want, he felt trapped by the obligation it gave him. He only saw the sun from behind the rigid bars of the watchtowers. Man, get somebody else, Sam. Hire had somebody. <laughs> a prison. Get a prison guard. No one, as he knew oh, the damn. second he let his guard down, Dream would find a way to escape. Every time he turned his back, Dream would require more assistance. Clocks, food, attempted escape, there was always something. And knowing the entire server depended on him, he continued spending his life in prison. Trapped by his own creation behind the very bars that freed the rest of the server. Day by day, he began to lose the power he thought he had. Slowly, Dream became the Punisher instead of the Punished. Questioning his ability to run the prison, Sam debated ending it all by killing Dream. But as much as he wanted to free himself, he knew that the book was more important. That's the only way. For if Dream dies, then death is forever. And forever it's the is only much way, more important Sam. than his freedom. Sam got be a free, break from his thoughts Dream. when Tommy scheduled another visit with Dream. But the break would not last long. As after that day, things would change forever. February 21st. That thing's session. One Damn month it. after his first visit with Dream. <laughs> if you want to be free, bro, I'm not a Dream. I'm sorry. That is no life living like and that. And as he as stood awarded. atop his now fully constructed hotel, he thought about Dream. I've been a little capped up at night. Because although he's, you know, he's in the prison, his Dream, and he's set off... There's no real reason for me to keep visiting him. I keep, I keep, I keep visiting him. And the thing that you always need, just in life, uh, is closure. I've been tortured. I've been tormented. But I realize that it's all because of this. It's all because of Dream. And um, I want to be done with this forever. I thought Sam might have been a bit of a fraud. But he wasn't. And he's kept him locked in there. And that prison is all high security. No one's getting in. No one's getting out. So I'm thinking now, I'm like, now he's in there. Why am I still feeling like this? Why am I still feeling miserable? I suppose, you know, I've got my hotel, I've got my business, but I still feel kind of a little bit low. He's in prison, he's locked away. Yo, Dream is winning no matter what, life. that man always today, wins. Um, today we say goodbye to him. Let's go do it then, boys. Tommy made his way to the entry portal. Meeting Sam in the lobby, he signed the waivers for the last time. This time they made their way quickly through the checks, tea. and before long, <laughs> They arrived at the main cell. <laughs> I miss it, big Everyone tea. was ready for the visit, but only one person truly knew what was about to happen. Oh snap. This is the last visit, so let's see. Man. Imagine all that redstone that he had to connect. That was not easy. This is... This is my last visit, Dream. 
So anything you want to say to me now, you can. You have to say to me now. Um, because I'm not going to see you again. Why? I mean, you had it coming. I did. But, you know, maybe one day, right? Listen, I, when I'm around you, my brain feels like I'm conditioned to be your friend. You don't make me a good person. You make me bad. I'm moving on to bigger and better things now. I don't need to go through any of this stress anymore, all right? Because this is me doing this to me now, not you. I'm the one that's giving me the stress here now. But I'm better than that. I'm better than you, all right? I'm done. I'm done. Goodbye. What the f***? What the? What the f*** was that? That was a lot of TNT. I'm out. Sam! Sam! No way. Sam! It's a breakout. Sam! Oh, they're breaking him out. Sam, I'm ready. I'm ready to leave. What happened to Sam? It hasn't been an honor knowing you, but it will be an honor forgetting you. What the f***? What? Holy sh no, no, this doesn't just happen. You don't, I don't enter here as soon as explosions go off. This isn't, this isn't how you operate, man. I know you, right? You haven't changed. Are you trying to get out? I'm not trying to get out. I'm yes, not you trying are. to get out. Well, we can bond. We can talk. Just like old times, right? Stuck together. You know, just like exile. Don't you ever mention exile to me, all right? You're gonna have to hang tight, Tommy. The prison is all... How it's been a security it issue. You signed the waiver saying up to a week. And I wrote that waiver, so I'm guessing up to a week. A week. <laughs> potatoes. His last visit. A it week. was supposed to be his There's last visit. There's a lockdown that's going to be a week. Tommy stared Dream in the eyes. Once again, he was trapped with his worst enemy. Well, that sucks. Sam scrambled to the roof of the prison. TNT doesn't just explode on the roof of the most secure building on the server someone was trying to break in. And before he let Tommy go, he needed to find out who. Tommy Dang. became anxious. He had gone there to cut Dream out of his life forever. But instead, now you he would have to stare at that week. twisted smile for days on end. That sucked. Dream was overjoyed that Tommy would be staying. He finally had some company in this <laughs> dark and lonely place. The plan oh began to move forward. Yo, Tommy didn't Dream know it, evil. but he was the catalyst in a much bigger story. Hours turned to days. Dream and Tommy continued to argue with each other for their own entertainment. Tommy counted every hour, waiting for the moment he could see the light again. He missed everything. But you gotta think about it. This is grass, Tommy's fault. Freedom. No one told you to go to the but prison to visit all, him. He missed his friends. Since the lockdown, Sam had completely stopped visits to the prison. No one in, no one out until the source of the problem Dang, was found. further notice. Sam's condition continued to worsen. He, as the sole operator of the prison, was being pressured from everyone on the server to let Tommy free. But his promise of the perfect prison could not be broken. Without the prison, without Dream inside, his job meant nothing. And he could not let that happen. February 28th arrived, and today, Tommy had officially spent one week locked away. He longed for freedom, the very thing he thought he won by throwing Dream in prison. But chaos can never truly be contained. Tension ran high between the two inmates. Tommy taunted Dream, dangling his soon-to-be-had freedom in front of Dream's withering smile until it was too much. And as Sam arrived to speak with Tommy, the clock ticked closer to the end of his stay. Sam! Sam! Hey, you two. Sam! What are you here for, Sam? I can't see you. I figured y'all are getting low on potatoes. Yeah. Sam, let me out. Oh, no, Tommy, you can't leave yet. I haven't found out what was causing the security oh, issue. Oh, dang. If you don't find out what the issue is, is he going to be in here for until you do? Potentially, he'll be in there for a while, but not forever, Tommy. Don't worry. You said it was a week. I... I know, I know. I figured that I could find anything in a week, but it's gonna take a little more time, okay? You gotta trust me, Tommy. We gotta make sure that we do everything as secure as we can. Sam, you know I don't deal well <laughs> in close quarters situations for a long time, Sam. Sam, you remember, you remember when you visited me in exile, Sam? Oh, damn. This is worse than that, Sam. Let me out. 
Okay, he's Tommy, having a drink. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm doing my best, Tommy. I, I'm only one guy. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm doing my best. Sam! No, no, no! Don't go! Don't go! Don't go! Don't go! Don't go! Sam! 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 Dang, that sucks. Tommy, hear me out. What? Hear me out. What if we get out together? Okay. Oh, oh no! no. Then you'll break out with me. I don't want you to break out with me. I'm gonna get out, and when I do. I'll get my revenge. You kill Tubbo. You'll kill Tubbo, won't you? Tommy, I will I will get revenge. Reven Everyone, Stop I've been that. sitting in here thinking about the revenge. How could you even get out, man? How could you even get out? I have a plan. What is it then? What? I'll get out eventually because either you'll let me out or people will be dead. Even when I'm in here, I'm more powerful than you are when you're outside. Damn. I he makes a good point. Right though. now, I, I He's could winning. just kill you. And the only reason I'm not True. is for my friends, for Tubbo, because we need that f***ing revive book, all right? That's the only reason I'm not killing you. Tom, oh, I forgot I about the revive book. I am never, ever going to use the revive book to help you or any of your stupid little friends, okay? I will never use it on you. I will never use it on any of your friends. I will never use it to save any of you. So kill me. Go ahead. Come on. The revive book, Dream. It's not real, is it? You are a clinical manipulator. This revive book that you keep going on about, that's your little card that Jay Schlapp... Jay Schlapp was just a drunk madman, all right? He wasn't some guy that had access to this omnipotent revive book. You're lying. You're, you're, a, you're just lying, aren't you? It doesn't make sense that you'd have this revive book. It, it, like, it doesn't add up, all right? I don't... I don't... I, I genuinely think you're just lying. So you know what, Dream? You come and you be there is no... You be annoying and you accuse me of things, accuse me of being a liar. I'm not lying. Jay Schlock gave me a revive book. He hey, I didn't even see this right thing on revive book. <laughs> That's not how it works. Revive Schlock right now. He'll log on I right here. I tell lying. you now. Why would I be lying about that? Through your netherite armor and skin, I look at you and you know what I see? I see a sad little man who's insecure about the fact that this server has gotten so far ahead of him and his only little glimpse of power in this world is gone. Life. You stupid in my green hands. lad. Does that, you off? Does that make you mad? If you can't kill me, does that make me some kind of god? No, Dream. Oh. I could kill you right now. Then do I it. Do it. But you won't. You know why I won't? Because I'm I leaving this prison in a... Stop it now! Stop right it! Now, stop actually. it! Stop it! I'm on two hearts. Look at me, alright? I don't think this revive book is real. <laughs> Should I? I've seen his grave. His grave is real. His corpse is there. Okay. Alright? Why don't you go see him? No! Stop, stop, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! This whole different look animation looks wow. Okay, that's just kind of cool how they how they did that scene. Okay, this is actually a really good looking scene. I feel like I'm watching a show right now. Yo, dream kill Tommy. Wow. So what does this mean? All right, hello. This is actually kind of oh my gosh. Why am I feeling so much goosebumps right now about this? At the same time, it feels like a horror Minecraft game right now. Like something's gonna jump at you. Oh, it's shaking. There they are. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy. <gasps> <gasps> All right, whoever animated this scene is amazing. <sighs> uh, hello? You okay? 
Jump, jump up. So what was it like? What was, what was what like? Death. Tommy, no one has ever been dead and been back. It was dark. It was all dark. It was dark. When I was there, it all felt so real, but so torn apart. It felt like I was in pieces. Well, now you're back, right? Everything's all fine. I, I brought you back. I, I, you know, I only, the only reason I did it was to prove to you, you know? Wait, that was you. It's real. So isn't it? it's actually <laughs> real. I'm actually a god. I can bring people back to life. I, I didn't even know for sure that I oh. could. <laughs> I can. Pinch me. What? Pinch me. He wasn't for sure, but he oh, actually no. did it. Don't, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Who else was there? That was Wilbur. Dream, listen to me. The things I saw, the things he talked about, and the things he will do. Promise me, never bring back Wilbur. Please, Dream, you are nothing. You're, you're nothing. You're fine, Dream. You're, we can be friends if you don't bring him back. You're not even all the tragedies you've done. Tommy, it's, it's, it's not up to you. I will use revival however I please because I'm the one that can do it. How long were you in there for? A, a month and... Eight, between a 18 month, to 20 bruh. days, I think. We lost like, count. For like where's two, Phil? three where's minutes, you're in there. Where are, where are the people? Where's, Tommy, where's you funding? Where's were there for two days, where? Tommy. When I was there, and I spent so much time with Wilbur, are you saying I was only there for two days? Two days. You were there for two days. Two days, Tommy. That was it. Dream, you <laughs> think you understand? You don't understand this. This is so much bigger. You couldn't comprehend what I've gone through, all right? Dream, burn the book. I don't have the book. What I do have is is knowledge from the book. And I can't burn that. I, I can't. It's impossible. I can burn every book that I have and it will do nothing. So I want to know about death. You know, we can study it. We can study it together. <laughs> we can become immortal together by studying Oh my it. god. I want absolutely nothing to it do with you. I came in here with the intent to never see you again. You have to die. Oh you have gosh. to die. Go on then. Go ahead. And you're fine with this. You're fine with me just beating you to you die and revival goes down with you. Come on. If I kill Go you, ahead. I'll be in here forever. Sam won't let me out. I know what I signed. It will be worse than death. Oh no. And then I'll have to die in here. And then I'll go back there. I need to kill you and I can't. Everyone is my puppets. He I wins. can kill you whenever I want. Why did Dream you kill me? What? Win. You could have just told me it was no real. No matter what, Why did you kill me? he's always you winning. Me. I was proving a point. You killed me. This is his world. Just to prove a point. Damn. This is so evil. This is this is this isn't like before. This isn't you've blown up our town. You've put me through torture, through pain, to prove a point, Dream. You were calling me a liar. How, <laughs> I, how else am I supposed to prove it? When I get out of here, you know I can. I can use it, right? I can use it to my advantage. I can I can do whatever I please. I'll let you free. I'll let you free, right? I'll, I'll we'll get, we'll call for Sam. We'll get him in here. He'll 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 let you out. But I'm going to bring back Wilbur and and Wilbur's no. Wilbur's going to help me escape. Oh shit. He will owe me his life. Oh no. And he's been there for how many years? He's probably the smartest man on the entire planet. Dream. Dream. I know, I know this, this seems elaborate. Please, promise me you won't bring back Wilbur. I'm bringing back Wilbur. <sighs> Dream was consumed by power. Even though he was locked away, the power of the book ran free through the reaches of his mind. He was a god. Life bended to his will. Will could come back. Tommy feared Dream once again, shattered by the things he'd seen and the fact that at any moment Dream could send him right back. Wilbur had changed. He'd been trapped far longer than Dream in a place far worse. And Tommy knew that if he brought Wilbur back, chaos would reign supreme once again. Word had escaped the prison of Tommy's death. Sam came later the day Tommy died to check on the prisoners and what he saw terrified him. Standing at the edge of his cell was Dream, staring coldly into Sam's eyes with a sinister smile. Sam couldn't take it. The guilt of what had just happened overwhelmed him. Somehow, after giving his life on the SMP to protect everyone from Dream, he failed to protect Tommy. He exited the prison, wanting nothing to do with the evil he just witnessed. 
by the end of the day, everyone knew their friend was gone. The people grieved. Dream had still managed to tear them down, even from inside those unbreakable walls. Sam began to question himself. Was he really fit to run the prison? Did the people blame him for what had happened? Sam continued the lockdown, shutting all contact wow. from Dream for the time being. These are the things that crossed Tommy's mind as he stared helplessly into the blistering lava. Another week passed. Sam had not come to check on Dream once out of guilt for what he allowed to happen. Nobody knew Tommy was revived. Nobody except Dream. Until the evening of March 12th. Three weeks after what should have been Tommy's final visit. Sam finally arrived. But what he found, he could never truly comprehend. Tommy is back. Stop! Stop! Hello? Hey, Hello? Dream. Hey, are you here to give us potatoes? Can you give us potatoes? Tommy? I'm here, <laughs> That voice cracked. Tommy? <gasps> Sam! Tommy? Yeah, he's back. Sam. From the dead. You let me die, Sam. You've taken 31 days, Sam, to come and get me. How are you here? You were dead. You kept me in here for over two, over a week. And then you let, and then you didn't, you didn't even stop him. You didn't, you didn't put him in what, you didn't even move the cell I was in with him. You let, you just what, you just let me die. Tommy, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, suck it. Green boy. As the two <laughs> went to the main lobby, Tommy realized what he was about to he's do. He's just a sucking green boy. The rest boy. of the world thought he was dead. And he knew the second he stepped foot through that portal, nothing would be the same again. Because now Tommy knows literally Dream has the power to bring back. Ooh, another animation clip. Tommy saw oh, okay. the light. For the first time since his visit, all that time ago, Tommy saw the light. Fate had not been kind to Tommy, and walking out of the prison that day, he was a different person. The server had changed a lot since he got locked away. Memorials and statues sprouted from every corner. He traveled down Prime Path to his home. Flowers covered the ground to the doorway. Everyone had built something to represent their memories. Tommy froze where he stood. Hearing a voice from behind him, he turned around to see his best friend staring back at him. Tubbo stood in disbelief. After everything that happened, everything Sam said happened, Tommy was back. He didn't think it was real. Tommy was dead. He grieved for him. And yet, there he stood. All Tommy wanted was for things to go back to normal. But everyone, it seemed, could not do that. He was a ghost to the rest of the SMP, caught between life and death, something no one could understand. Oh. Tommy made his way to the ruins of Lamanberg. He missed the old days, the simpler times. He missed the friends he made. He missed the days when he had someone to lead the way. But now, he would have to take matters into his own hands. Two days later, on March 14th, Tommy logged on with a plan. Making his way to Snowchester, he explained his idea to Rambu and Tubbo, who agreed to help him. Tommy reasoned that Dream was too dangerous to be kept alive. The things he said to Tommy before he was let out left an everlasting mark on his conscience. Dream held life at his fingertips, and giving Dream the ability to play God is a dangerous game. The power went to his head. Dream had told Tommy that he would bring back Wilbur from the dead, one of the most dangerous people on the entire server. Tommy didn't know how, but he knew Dream had a plan to escape. And something told him that it had to do with the knowledge held in that book. And as Dream had explained to Tommy, that knowledge was ingrained in his memory. And its only way out was if he went out with it. Dream's death was the only way to stop him from raining terror on the server once again. And being on his last life, they only needed to kill him once to end it all. Tubbo and Rambu agreed with Tommy as he knew much more about Dream's power than they did. There was only one problem. Because Sam had completely stopped visits to the prison, their only option to kill Dream was to break in. Pandora's vault may be inescapable, but it's also just as difficult to break into, meaning brute force would not be an option. If they wanted their plan to work, they would have to be sneaky. 
and as far as they could see, there were only two ways to sneak in. By stealing Sam's warden keycard to gain access to the entire prison, or sneaking in using an invisibility potion during a visit. That's one way, I guess. Both were virtually impossible in their current situation. But Tommy had a way around this. There was one person on the server who they might be able to convince Sam to let visit. Ghostbird. Because Ghostbur has infinite lives, only disappearing if Wilbur is revived, there is no threat to his safety by letting him visit Dream. And after some convincing, Sam agreed to schedule a visit with Ghostbur. With Ghostbur. It was decided. On the day of the visit, Tommy would sneak into the prison behind Ghostbur using an invisibility potion, making his way to the main cell and slaying Dream with the Axe of Peace. And as the group smiled with satisfaction, all they could do was wait until the fateful day arrived. So that's the game plan right there. The moon rose high in the sky. The group stood at the foot of a watchtower constructed next to the prison. And with all the pieces in place, they went over the plan one final time. So here's the plan, all right? We've organized with Sam that Ghostbur is gonna go in. Now, the reason I needed all these parts is because I'm gonna sneak in, all right? Behind him the entire time. I've got fire eyes, brilliant. I didn't bring any armor because I have invis, I've got my totem, and I've got my invisibility. I'm gonna follow Sam through all the prison, and it sh I, th I think if I remember the prison, we should be totally fine and not die in there. And then Ghostbur goes into the room with Dream. I stay with him in invisibility. Then when we get in there with the axe of peace, oh, I chop Dream's head clean off. Ghostbird, do not, yeah. under any circumstances, say I'm with you. And if you can, lie that I'm not there. Lie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need you two to stay here, and then when I come out later on, I'll visit you two, yeah? When us, when us lot come out. We've missed all the times we could have killed him. Rambo, you were there too as well, right? When he came through the portal, he's not worth the revive book. I know I haven't told you this, but today's the day Dream dies. I'll see you soon, Tubbo Rambo. I'll see you soon. Right. Tubbo Rambo. Go, see you soon, boys. Bye -bye, Wish us luck. Bye-bye, friends. Bye, good luck. Have Bye. fun. Good luck. The fateful moment arrived. Is he bringing the Tommy sheet? and Ghostbird made their <laughs> way to the prison the entrance, and today Tommy would finally take Dream's last life. As they entered the main lobby, Tommy's mind wandered. Ever since Tommy joined, Dream had controlled everything he loved. Dream was the reason he lived in fear. He thought he won by locking him away, but he still found a way to ruin Tommy again. But today would be the end. The real end. With Dream's death, the server would be truly free. Dream would be banished from the SMP, oh, and happened the bridge to the Dream. afterlife would fall behind him. Found the way to become immortality. Tommy felt chills oh. as he remembered what happened the last time he was there. The pain. The suffering. Not immortal, but immortal, basically. The plan took over his mind. All he could think about was putting his axe through the heart of his ongoing nightmare. Once Dream was gone, he would be whole again. He wouldn't have to look over his shoulder every day. He wouldn't have to relive that moment every time he lost a heart. His thoughts became stronger the closer they drew until they arrived. The wall of lava was all that protected Dream from the blade of his axe. The lava dropped to the floor and Tommy could see it. His eyes widened with anticipation. He was so close. Gosper and Tommy stepped onto the bridge. As Sam pulled the lever, they floated across the divide. Rage filled his eyes. He couldn't wait. As the bridge reached the other side, Tommy drew his axe and- Stop! Stop, 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 stop uh, moving right now. I've stopped, I've stopped, I've stopped. Walk to your left, Gosper. Who is there? Who is there? Who is there? Stop! Whoever's invisible, stop right now. <laughs> stop this instant. Don't move. Sam had seen him. Tommy stood in shock. He was so- close, just a single block stood between him and the end of his problems. But Sam had no intention of dropping the wall. Too long had he worked at ensuring the prison would be safe and under no hey, circumstances he would he throw that. that away now. Sam ordered Tommy to stand on the bridge, threatening to kill him if he failed to listen. With no choice, Tommy stepped onto the bridge and began moving away. His chance of killing Dream was now gone. He argued violently with Sam. In Tommy's eyes, by keeping Dream alive, Sam had just trapped the entire server under his unnatural power. Everyone's lives locked inside a cell and the only one with the key being Dream. He was too dangerous to be kept alive, but Sam refused to let him die. Dream grinned. He saw an opportunity, a way out from his life behind bars. And as Tommy and Sam argued across the pit of lava, Gosper remained in the grim clutches 
of Treen. Tommy, this is the reason I let you die in the prison. Ghost for stuck over there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah and I'll revive That's... him if you don't let me free. Wait, what? What? Huh? Wait, no. No, 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 Tommy, Tommy, you still no, 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 no